Hi, hello. Welcome to our online fashion training, Stitch by John Han online fashion training. You're very welcome. My name is John, and I'm glad, so glad that you are here in this class. Like, I'm so happy, I'm so excited. I love seeing people have one or two skills. It is very important considering the time of today. So, or now, whatever it is. So, you're very welcome. I formally welcome you all. With as time goes on, we'll be adding new members to it. Some who wants to advance in fashion business or whatever you may call it, to be adding them to it. So, guys, without wasting much of your time, let's just go into the tutorial. Now, we are going to be taking the body measurement. That is first and foremost what anybody who is interested in sewing should should know so it is very important to note that it is very important to take a basic a normal like an accurate measurement body measure because that depends on whatever you're cutting and whatever you're sewing if you get the measurement wrong trust me the garments or the fab or the top will come out wrong so whatever you're sewing, endeavor to get the measurement correctly. So we are going to start with taking different body measurements. Please, if you have your writing, whatever it is, your, your paper, your pen, please take note of these little points that I'm going to be making. First and foremost, we have the bust measurement. The bust, and note that the measurement is of two types. Body measurement is of like whatever you think is of two types. You have the vertical measurement and the horizontal measurement. The vertical measurement is the one you take from the shoulder to the breast point, from breast point to under boss, from under boss, that is how you keep going. But the horizontal measurement is the measurement you take across the body. For instance, this is the horizontal measurement. You're taking the bust measurement. This is the horizontal measurement. So we are starting by taking the bust measurement. This is how it is. This is how you take the bust measurement. The bo my bust now is 39 inches. When you're taking this bust measurement, note that you you shouldn't make it loose that the, the tape falls off. No, the you after making the, the dress, the garment will come out saggy around the bust part, and you shouldn't make it too tight that it will end up pressing the your client's boobs so you just make it like place it normally let it just stay mine is 39 inches so we go over to the under bust number one is the bust this is the horizontal measurement notes so the second secondly you go over to the under bust under bust is under your boobs under your breast this is when we you have that under wire we have this this wire here that is the under bust you take the measurement around like this here you make it very firm like it shouldn't be too tight that it chokes your client to death or whatever god forbid so you make it to make it make it firm but not too firm but as you're measuring ask your customer if it is too tight some will tell you it is too tight to make it lose a bit then and with that you go ahead and reduce the measurement a bit so you go back to the waist the waist we have two types of waist we have the upper waist and the lower waist hope you can see me so the upper waist is this this part you have here this is the upper waist this is it for this mannequin this is the upper waist and this is the lower waist for me this is the upper waist. This is it. This is the lower waist. You realize that here is broader. It's a bit broad compared to here. You understand? So that is why I always take those two measurements. So after sewing, and your customer wears it, it fits perfectly well. So measure the upper waist. For my upper waist, my upper waist is 31 inches. Let me show you. Then the, the lower waist is, my lower waist is 33 inches. Have you seen the difference? Here is broad, here isn't. 
okay that is we are done with the bust measurement under bust measurement the upper waist the lower waist we are now going to take the hip measurement so to take the hip measurement this is what you do you place the tape this way this way from the waist you pull it down as you're pulling it down you're adjusting so it stays so here we have the hip measurement 39 inches you're sure that this is the hip measurement that when the person wears the garment it will sit perfectly well on the butt on her butt so for me this is how i take my hip measurement the same way i did for on the mannequin is the same way i'm going to be doing this is it come on here my hip is 44 inches so that is how you take the hip measurement you don't take the hip measurement tight like you don't press it like this no you should press the butt okay so that is it so that is we are done with the horizontal measurement now no we are not so we are going to be taking the around shoulder this is the around shoulder how to take for the you're taking this around shoulder if you're cutting an off shoulder dress so this is it you make sure that the client relaxes her hand both hands play relaxes her hand like this then you go ahead and measure it make it firm but not too tight make it firm that after making the dress or whatever you're making that after the client wears the dress it sits perfectly around here it doesn't follow unless the client is asking you i want it to drop or it depends on the style you're seeing whatever the client should this kind of style maybe it's a, a, a style that the sleeve is falling you understand so in that situation you, you free you release your your measurements you add to whatever measurement you just release it like visualize it the way it, the garment is supposed to be after seeing the image or you ask your client you understand so you don't get yourself confused and the client doesn't complain at the end of the day so the end here is to satisfy your client know that if you're making for yourself the end is for you to be satisfied so get that so we are done with the the um, horizontal measurements Do, we have a um, shoulder to shoulder to nipple point we have from shoulder to nipple point nipple point to under bust we have the half length so we are going to show you how you can take that measurement you place the tape here this is it like for instance this is where the shoulder of the mannequin is for me it is this bone i have here it's my collar bone that is where my shoulder begins that is where you place the tape so you're going to be placing the tape right there to take the breast point my breast point is there this is my nipple breast point is also nipple point okay also known as nipple point mine is 10 then I'm, I'm going to proceed to go to the under box take that measurement so whatever I have there bring it forward my under box is 14 and a half so you you can see that my press is a bit I don't know whatever so you place the tape here for the mannequin is 10 then the under bust is 14 inches this is it this is it 14 inches okay so you go ahead take your mesh still place your hand there don't move your hand from there from the under bust take the blouse length the blouse determines where the client wants it but for normal is 25 inches if the person is a plus size you can do 26 or 27 inches that is for the blouse length or some style the blouse may may appear longer you go ahead and make it long take the accurate measurement so that is the blouse length you still go that way and take the dress length you see that a short dress or a long dress at this point i will not know if it 
depends on what your client wants, how your client wants it. Some may want a longer dress, like 64, 65. Some may want it, they'll tell you, make it 58 inches. I don't want to wear heels. So that is, you have to ask your client what, he, what she wants. So that is it. The next thing we'll be taking is the nipple to nipple measurement. This is very important. By the time we start cutting, we know the importance of all these measurements we are taking. We take the nipple to nipple measurement. This is it. For me, mine is eight. From one nipple to the other, it's eight inches. So that is it. You take your client's measurement, nipple to nipple measurement. So you go ahead and take your cross back. This is how to take their cross back from here to here. You take their cross back. Wherever this, your hand, the joint is, this line here, you're going to see a line here, like from here, you take the across back, place the tape, cross it over to this side. That is the across back measurement. So for some people, they love taking the back measurement. Let me just follow, follow. for you to know that there is back measurement. You place your tape on this, this bone here, this bone right here, you place your tape there and take the half length just with the way we took the half length for the front which is the half length for the front is it um, usually where the, the navel is you place your hand check where the navel is the navel of your client and take the half length when we are cutting i'll show you i'll show you how you can work with the half length so it doesn't appear down at the end of the day after making the dress or it depends on whatever anyway when we get to that stage, let me not confuse you. Let it be a step at a time. So, this is it. And the next thing we are going to um, be doing is, is to show you how you can divide your tape. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can make divide your tape so that when you're cutting, you know how to manipulate the measurements.